7. The Modern Era Industry, Agencies, and LSD The final world cataclysm is a revolution of perception, which has begun among a few individuals and with various results. This is the age of the Kabbalah, of the sword, and of the lightning bolt. It has led almost as though spontaneously to the industrial age, a time of rapid social evolution burgeoning forth grand-scale science, politics, and economics that seek to unite the world. The practice of magic, relegated to the woods of the collective unconscious everywhere except India, as Kundalini Tantra, and China, Tai Chi and Feng Shui, since the decline of ancient Egypt, has begun to reemerge. This can be evidenced by the folk interest in the supernatural that humanized the Renaissance. The boy genius Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart included initiatory elements in his opera The Magic Flute. This sort of vapid optimism prevailed in European society during the Age of Reason and the American colonization with the formation of dozens of different fraternally based organizations known as Jacobin or Jacobite clubs, prevalent among which were the free and accepted Masons. One of these clubs, started by Adam Weishaupt and called the Illuminati, was taken under the wing of the Masons to protect it from persecution by radical Jesuits, Weishaupt's religious faith, and the progenitor of many of the Illuminati's mysteries. It outlined a plot to dismantle all forms of social structure by revolution. Such revolutions actually occurred in France against the monarchy, and in America against England. A. The Birth of a Nation At first, the intelligence community of the American colonies, the men who would come to be called our Founding Fathers, no more than a good old boy network of Masonic lodges in 1776, had been engaged only in a messianic breeding program inherited from the Priory of Zion and constituting little more than a mysteriously veiled version for the goyim of what is, and always has been, the most biologically fundamental habit of the Jews. In Europe, the class system had evolved through the dialectic, thesis, antithesis, synthesis, leading to America arising as the synthesis of a capitalist free market and a representative democratic republic. The rule of American society is rule by the law, where justice is only what can be proven, and where it is easy enough for those with money to determine for which version of reality there will be evidence. To this extent, fortune favors is printed on the cash. Then there was an industrial revolution. Steam technology running off coal in iron engines could produce hotter and hotter temperatures and, when trapped, generate greater and greater amounts of energy. This led to faster and faster modes of transportation. The Pony Express was replaced by the horseless carriage, now called the automobile, the steamboat surpassed by the steel rail riding locomotive, the farm fell by way of the factory, the city began swallowing up the country. Skyscrapers replaced small shops and apartment hotels. The airplane and hot air balloon were invented, and immense steam liners opened up the shores of the entire world to the possible redistribution of populations. The entire country of America went to civil war with itself over a machine replacing cotton-picking slaves. This became the subject of the first feature-length film ever made using the motion picture camera. President Lincoln was assassinated after passing the Emancipation Proclamation and paying Union soldiers in government-printed paper money while paying the financiers of the Union Army, European banking conglomerates, the interest on the loans they had made to them for weapons during the war, which had become known as the National Debt, from the Federal Reserve's gold standard. B. Industrial Fallout and the Turn of the 20th Century 
It was around this time in Russia that the depressed potentate Potemkin was causing a backlog of documents mandated by the vassal legislature requiring his signature before they could be passed into law. An eager young clerk named Chuvolkin responded in earnest to the needs of the governing body and approached the ruler on demand that he sign the appointed documents. Potemkin began signing them, and one after another he signed, Shuvolkin, Shuvolkin, Shuvolkin. This moral of bureaucracy we owe to a confident scribe named Franz Kafka. In 1905, Alexander Aliaster Crowley, who had already studied many of the greater mysteries of the universe, visited the pyramids of Giza with his wife Rose and showed her the airs or spiraling tachyonic light that is still visible in the king's chamber of the Great Pyramid, even without the presence of a burning torch or other form of light source. The next day she showed him the stele of Ra Hor Kuit, who Crowley identified as an Egyptian version of Harpocrates, that was catalogued numbered 666 in the British Museum. His translation and elaboration of this, called the Book of the Law, ushered in what would come to be called the New Age, and was made to magically commemorate an event to which Crowley would devote most of his writings on magic for the rest of his life, the change of the equinoctical constellation due to the effect of the precession of the poles on the ecliptic zodiac. Every 108 years, the orbit of Mars brings the red planet close enough to the warmth of the sun to melt its polar ice caps, and this effect was observed at the time by Heinrich Schliemann as the presence of vast seas and canals on the surface of our nearest planetary neighbor outward from the sun. Most people mocked and ridiculed him, saying that what he was seeing were merely minute imperfections in the grain of his own reading glasses, However, there is some evidence that what appear to be a row of pyramids with the same alignment to Orion's belt as those in Giza and Teotihuacan, as well as a structure near them shaped like an upward-gazing human face, might have been constructed at this time, if not earlier in the same cycle. The Theosophists, begun by Madame Blavatsky from Eastern Europe, claim to maintain through their exoteric and open to the public organization a direct link to the secret chiefs of the Argentum Astrum or inner order of Illuminism that preserve the ancient esoteric mystery doctrines within the highest grades of craft masonry. After her death Samuel Little McGregor Mathers stepped forward and claimed to have preserved this link with the occult divine. He, Israel Rigardi, A. E. Waite, and William Wynne Westcott formed the Hermetic and Kabbalistic Order of the Golden Dawn in the early 20th century, and accepted public applications for admission, teaching what was described as direct information from the secret chiefs, according to the binding documentation of their compact charter. Aleister Crowley, who had come to join this sect, would become disillusioned by it, and, after lengthy court battles with Mathers over publishing rights to the Goetic Shemham for Ash, would quit the organization, and instead go on to reform a German branch of Freemasonry called the Ordo Templi Orientis, or Order of Oriental Templars. The greatest error recorded from the Golden Dawn teachings is the inversion of the left and the right sides of the body during the ritual invocation from the right proper attribution to the left and right of the active and passive yin and yang pillars of Jachin and Boaz. C. The first half of the twentieth century. Nikola Tesla was the first man to discover the alternating current used in all electrical wiring of today. A late contemporary of Edison, an earlier friend of Einstein, Tesla would go on to invent the hydroelectric turbine and the radio wave broadcast transmission tower. He claimed to be responsible for the large blast in Tunguska, Russia, 
caused by a death ray redirected through the crust of the Earth using magnetic holographic resonance imaging. Having discovered scalar wave electromagnetic effects, he claimed to be in contact with off-world sources. The cylindrical type UFO seen most commonly in those days does resemble the scalar wave reorienting weather control balloon technology Tesla sold the United States military and since all scalar wave technology is temporarily commutative it is possible that the earlier UFOs in fact were these same weather balloons slipped back through time. Tesla was allegedly also involved in the 1943 Philadelphia experiment an attempt to create an electromagnetic bottle around a United States military battleship and render it invisible to radar. In this experiment, spherical coils were used to generate the field, however the resonance they created was out of harmony with the Earth's 40 MHz Schumann resonance and the ship disappeared and reappeared sometime later in a different location. There were unpredicted effects on the crewmen. This began the United States military's research and development of scalar wave technology. Wilhelm Reich, independently of Tesla's research, advocated sensory deprivation long before its time in special types of containment units designed to trap and increase ether energy, or what he called orgone energy. It is now believed by many that both the Tesla and Reichian types of esoteric energy were in fact the same as what the US military would later dub zero-point energy. In America, the pharmacology business was booming. Morphine, cocaine, and marijuana were all legal. Morphine was the first to be criminalized, followed by cocaine and alcohol, and much later marijuana. Alcohol would be re-legalized after prohibition failed due to American mobsters running liquor through import shipping companies. In 1938, Dr. Albert Hoffman, working at Sandoz Laboratory in Basel, Switzerland, isolated the psychoactive properties of ergot, a parasitic fungus that grows on rye. In 1943, he was allowed to repeat the synthesis an LSD-25 was created. Lysergic acid diethylamide probably began its life being involuntarily tested on prisoners at the Dachau camp 200 miles away by Alan Dulles for IG Farben. The planet would be shaken by two global wars in rapid succession. The first began when a representative of an occult cabal called the Black Hand or Carbonari later La Cosa Nostra, now known as the Mafia, murdered Archduke Ferdinand. It was a ground war fought in mainland Europe by entrenched troops using machine guns. The Second World War began when Hitler, steeped in occult rhetoric of the lost super-civilization of Thule, invaded Poland and declared himself the Fuhrer of France and this war generated even further armament advances with bombs being dropped from planes, large tanks, repeating rifles and portable rocket technology. Supposedly the Germans were experimenting with scalar wave technology towards the end of the war and expected it to be their salvation. The Americans, with the help of Einstein, a German-Jewish-American immigrant, designed a bomb based on nuclear fission. Werner von Braun, another German, however an ex-Nazi, had designed the long-range rocket technology used to blitzkrieg Britain before being brought to America as part of Project Paperclip, a snatch-and-grab operation in competition with the Russians over the remainder of the Third Reich's secret science. He helped design the atomic bomb and later began NASA, America's space program. D. The 1950s. A long Cold War followed this between the capitalist United States and communist Russia, during which they kept intercontinental ballistic missiles, 
some even thermonuclear, trained on one another at all times. In the 1950s, Lockheed Aeronautics, under contract to the U.S. government, designed and built the U-2 spy plane in only one year in a secret facility constructed especially for that purpose called the Skunk Shop. Five years after they began, a U-2 spy plane pilot would be held captive by the Soviet Union after being shot down on a mission over Russia. President Eisenhower, who was aware that every U-2 spy plane was equipped with self-destruct, and every U-2 spy plane pilot given a syringe for lethal injection in the event they must avoid capture, was confident that the Russians were bluffing about having shot down the U-2, until it was made public that the pilot, Francis Gary Powers, was indeed their prisoner. Among the Illuminati, who are the highest-ranking Masons? It is common knowledge that the U-2 was based on aerodynamics reverse-engineered from flying saucers. Thus, perhaps due to the nature of the technology itself, the design of the 1947 crash at Roswell, New Mexico, may have karmically carried through into the U-2's fate. If this is true, as we must assume it may be, then surely it is a bluff that the military recovered the alien pilot. Claiming that the U-2 spy plane was a weather plane, and claiming that the Roswell crash was a weather balloon, does not necessarily mean the two events are identical in other respects as well. It only proves that great minds think alike. The U-2 was only the American version of what they had found crashed in their own backyard, which they then crashed in Russia. What the Americans found was merely what our ancestors called an angel, fallen from hyperdimension, within his circular craft. This, however, was only a messenger who had slipped through a tachyonic wormhole, composed of light, reflected off the moon across the face of the American desert, that was coming from a sun that was, at that exact moment in time, technically on the Russian side. Thus, we can deduce the location of the sleeper, with whom the watcher corresponded, who was actually on the other side of the planet both times. For reasons that are extremely personal to the initiated, it is important for the airspace craft that humans fly to be of human design. The fact that the United States Air Force was formed in the same year as the Roswell crash and that some of its oldest ongoing projects involve stealth, all acute angles, thus deflecting fewer radar waves, technology, beginning with the flying wing and culminating in the V-wing B-2 bomber, only shows that humans could have studied extraterrestrial flight technology, but proves that all of the technology they have produced is inherently human, having been designed and built by normal people, and having been carried through from beginning to end by human hands. It is in this way that the actual government classified vehicles, those designed by human beings of today, can fly about today right before our very eyes. Take, for example, the genetic research being done underground at Dolce on the abducted children of atomic bomb survivors. The Hollywood star system of America establishes a new royal class comprised of entertainers, models, and news anchors. This is the sum and the substance of modern American culture, the gift of the 1950s plastic fantastic suburbanites, their simulacrum of historical heritage as it existed before the social compact. This era, we're trying to tear the social middle class away from rule by a lord of the land. In America, in the 1950s, the middle class were housed in suburbs surrounding the cities in which they worked in high-rise offices. The social destiny that had been given to them they had made manifest with great skyscrapers. Most countries have a folk wisdom founded culture that dates back much further than modern American culture. American culture did not even begin on an international scale until the 1950s, when industrialized manufacturing made our production of stylized consumer goods applicable to the mass market of the entire country 
and the new technological communication media were first used to introduce international cultural trade into the global free market of ideas. The only reason I go into the society and culture of America is that it is a young nation that has grown rapidly to become a globally recognized economic and political system. E. Tie-dyeing At that time, many new consumer goods were entering the developed world market, most being manufactured in Japan or Taiwan and exported to America. Compact TVs, portable radios, color movie cameras, and eventually even color television. President Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas, after the Bay of Pigs invasion had led to the Cuban Missile Crisis. The FBI had begun to countermand CIA Mafia drug trafficking instead of confronting the Red Scare menace of naturalized communist spies, and great strides were taken for integration of the races by various social agencies. Then, in the mid-1960s, the Central Intelligence Agency approved use of psychedelics for public brainwashing, following initial tests on soldiers, prisoners, and mental patients, and it quickly took the forefront in the student class demographic of the illicit drug market. LSD-25 was extracted from ergot, a wheat mold that had also been responsible for the Greek golden age of democracy and the Salem Witch Trials. The result was the birth of cybernetics as the ultimate mechanical manifestation of the Enochian communication system. This was passed down to the youth culture of America more or less directly by the Golden Dawn. The LSD testing continued under the name Project Artichoke, under official sanction, as well as the continuing research of several independently contracted scientists such as John Lilly and Ewan Cameron. While operational, MKUltra contracted with independent scientists Sidney Gottlieb and George Hunter White, allowing them to determine preliminary effects of the drug in different conditions. The Gottlieb research, designed to replicate Soviet research done on hypnosis and trance states for the implantation of suggestion, led to the Edgewood Arsenal tests, known as Third Chance, where LSD was designated EA-1729 and used in interrogation. The White experiments, called Project Midnight Climax, led to Operation Big City. In the Gottlieb experiments, he posed as an artist, luring people into being involuntarily dosed, which led to the CIA's project name of Artichoke. All of this was to root out communism, to see what the communists had learned from Nazi scientists during the Soviet equivalent to Project Paperclip about experiments with mind control. The Americans expected the communist threat to present itself to America's liberal, left-wing side that is familiar with the liberal arts and sciences, particularly associated with magic. The American military through Al Hubbard, father of L. Ron Hubbard, friend of Aleister Crowley, had become aware of a large amount of information about the use and application of magic in the form of mass mind control. By the time of George Hunter White, this had been replaced by an attempt to simulate the simulacrum of the artistic media itself. George Hunter White watched people having sex from behind a two-way mirror while on the toilet. This represents the average American watching TV. It is also reminiscent of how Elvis Presley died. The way his agents behaved, running around half-naked with their guns, is reminiscent of the American gangster, more a creation of newspaper media distribution than of the original roots of Italy's Black Hand secret society, the Zorro to the Keystone Knights of Malta the sad clown of opera, which had been duly distributed also to Russia and to Japan, as well as into American ghettos, where it has become the dominant slum culture for disenfranchised African Americans. White ended by shooting blank wax slugs at his reflection in the mirror. 
but this was only during the time of the Rat Pack, during the early 60s. In the hippie era, by the late 60s, when liberalism really passed through America, the experiments of Dr. Ewan Cameron were developing the rules for tripping. In these, people were subjected to all the post-JFK, alien-esque, and inner-earth technology that merely represented the history of the old world that the lurking specter of multinational socialism had accumulated before it had begun to become transplanted into the backyards of national American corporations on its way to the Orient. These psychic driving experiments took place in Canada, but many involved travel between multiple locations, often while under the influence of an intoxicating substance and the combined effect of a strongly reinforced post-hypnotic suggestion. Just as the Russians had called sleeper agents fellow travelers, so had Dr. Frank Olson died not from LSD making him think he could fly, as the myth is perpetuated, but from bourbon, nembutal, and a blow to the head. This rapidly overran the messianic breeding program with the sensation of urgency and immediatism psychedelics induce. The MK of the CIA's project MK Ultra went from meaning mind controlled, sick, Masonic killer to mind controlled, ibid, messianic killer. Perhaps in Plato's ideal republic, this would have been Masonic or Messianic killer of mind control. In 1973, most of the documents regarding Operation MK Ultra were destroyed by Richard Helms and the operation's name was changed to MK Search. MK Search has been the attempt by the Illuminati within the CIA to combine the Enochian communication system accessed by psychedelics which had only been used to train assassins under MKUltra, with the Masonic Messianic Breeding Program. The result was the Sleeper Agent Program.